and some local student athletes also got to shine during those Super Bowl ads. WCCL's Marielle Mose introduces us to the Golden Gophers making their acting debuts in a regional ad. In the off season, this team is still on, putting in the work on the pitch and for the first time ever on camera. The Hammer! The Gopher women's soccer team signed an NIL deal with Daryl the Hammer Isaacs, a personal injury lawyer based out of Louisville, Kentucky. Use my soccer team! I was a little bit embarrassed, of course, <laughs> because it's my dad who's making the commercial, but overall it was just really fun and an awesome opportunity for us. Daryl Isaacs' daughter, Alex, is a junior on the team. Alex texted the team, she's like, do you think people would be interested in doing a Super Bowl commercial? Like, you don't have to if you don't want to, and we're like, um, yes. I mean, who would say no to that? It's kind of crazy to imagine, like, so many people are going to be watching it. What makes this NIL deal extra unique is this is the first time at the University of Minnesota that an entire team has signed an endorsement deal. One of the first in the country um, that is focused on a, on a female uh, team. Jeremiah Carter oversees NIL policy for the U of M. He hopes this deal lays the groundwork for more athletes and teams to get endorsed by other companies. It gives them an opportunity to showcase um, really their marketability, which is which is huge, you know, not just to our fan base, but um, you know, across the country. These athletes see the significance in doing this deal. Not not only as women, but doing it together. It's important to have that equal representation um, for women's and men's sports. It's just really valuable to have everybody on the team um, in the spotlight for once because they deserve to be there. They're all a vital part of the team. In Minneapolis, Mary Mose, WCCO News. That ad was only shown during the game in the southeast region of the country. If you'd like to see the full commercial, you can check it out uh, on this story at WCCO.com.